Please. Please, no. Oh, honey, what's the matter? Do you need a bedpan? You know, it's been a long time. I could even help you use it. Who are you? All right, honey, I can't lie. I'm no teenage candy striper. Duh. Robert, we're angels who've been sent by God to give you one more chance to change your life. See, Robert, the Lord keeps track of everybody who's been naughty or nice. He knows if you've been bad or good. So be good, for goodness sake. Oh, you better watch out. You better not cry. What she's trying to say, Robert, is that you're going straight to hell unless you change your naughty ways. Then I'll change. I'll, ch I'll change. Yes. Hallelujah. There's going to be one terrific party in heaven tonight. Hallelujah. Hey, Hallelujah. somebody say party. It's going to be a lot of dancing and jumping and juicing and humping, huh? Oh, goodness, no. What about weed? Is it going to be any weed? There's no weed in heaven. Nah, it don't sound like no party to me. Did God bring you here, too? Not unless God drives a cab. All right, now, all right, now. Excuse me. Hey, you're on my show now. And on my show, there is no God. Hey, who do you think God is, Robert? Some 50-foot invisible man sitting up on a cloud watching everything everybody does on 10 billion closed-circuit TVs? Yeah. But... Somebody up there must have created rainbows and sunsets. And vibrators. Oh, Tess. Oh, come on, Jeff. God loves me, and God's going to cure me from my tumors. If God loves you, how come he gave you tumors in the first place? Well, it... Hey, yeah. Well, sometimes a good Lord tests our faith. And the Lord works in mysterious ways. Okay, here's two of them. Hitler and David Hasselhoff. <laughs> Are you saying there's no heaven either? Oh, of course there's a heaven. It's the most beautiful place there ever was, or ever will be. Well, what does it look like? Oh, it looks like Ireland. Without the pipe bombs. Listen, ladies, face it. This is all made up. You're not angels. This is a TV show. You're actresses. Okay, let's just say that we are. Okay, that doesn't mean there's no God. Oh, yeah? Well, if there was a God, why would he let Roma Downey earn twice as much money as you? Oh. Uh, th that, that's not true. That is not true. Well, uh, it is true. I read about it in the Inquirer. You know, Roma, my arms may be too short to box with God, but they are long enough to bust your ass. Come on, we're going to negotiate outside. Oh. My sport, I'll show you heaven. It's a topless bar near the airport. Yeah! Sounds great. I'm feeling better already. Next week on Touched by an Atheist. So what are you saying is uh, the Bible is uh, just a bunch of made-up stories like that Melrose place? You got it, Pops. So my whole life has been a shame. Yep. Okay, what about heaven? It's a topless bar by the airport. Come on, I'll show you. <laughs> Dear God, Mad TV wishes to point out that the preceding sketch in no way reflects the beliefs of Mad TV producers and staff. They are solely from the mind of George Carlin. We believe in you, Lord, and thank you for our continued good ratings. You're the best. Love, Mad TV. Dear George Carlin, in the event there is no God, we apologize for the preceding statement in which we totally sold you out. You're the best. Love, Mad TV.